Meow. Whoop, whoop. Meow. Meow. Oh, I do remember the thing that I need to talk to you about, but it's not on strength because it requires me to play audio for you. Please remind me after the stream that I have audio to play for you. Okay, I will try. Also, we sound good. Hello, people. It's us, Two Bros Game. Now, I'm your host, Sugar Bro. I'm your other host, Older Bro. And we are back playing some Endless Ocean, where I believe we are doing uh, something either with salvages or tours. One of the things is about to expire. Um, I don't know if... I, I think I just submitted a photo, so he's not done. Oh, no. Uh, he is done. Sea otter. Well, that's going to expire. Can't do shit about that. But I could have swore I had a photo one. Hmm. Okay, I think it's one of these things that are going to expire. Oh, set your state. Okay. Oh, I might have went and done something and some of these things have disappeared. Okay, and I just didn't recheck them again. So maybe I have some dolphin shows as well. Well, I can't do the Volca Castle one. Okay, this one's going to expire because I'm going to prioritize a tour over salvaging. Um, by the way, so I know a lot of my friends and a lot of my family want me to watch certain shows and stuff. Like, a lot of my friends at work want, want me to watch uh, the rest of Walking Dead. Sure. I got into a series that I thought I wasn't going to watch next. I thought I was going to go into Invincible. Sure. I decided to watch How to Train Your Dragon again. Why? I wanted to. Of course. Okay. So, um, I just watched the three movies back to back and rewatching them again because mm -hmm. I was starting to forget those movies. Yeah. I almost cried in the second and third film. <laughs> yeah. That's how big of an impact those why. movies are. They're they're good. So I didn't watch the Book of Dragons again. I didn't want to watch all those episodes because I I watched them all with you. I didn't watch um what was it, R Riders of Burke. I didn't watch all that. Yeah. Because again, I watched that with you. The European Wait. parrotfish. Yep. So. It has been many a year since we did that. I believe I told you that there was a new television show about how to train your dragon. Uh, maybe if so, I. I mentioned it and I said I wasn't interested in it. Sure. I'm now watching it because I was like, okay, let's let's watch it. Why not? So, did you know they had two new shows? Oh Lord, no. I only found out because I thought the next show I was watching was the the newest show because I knew the newest show was canon. Yeah. Turns out. Turns out there's a non-canon show. Yep. I figured it out quick because early one of the dragons talked. Oh, good. And when I saw that, I was like, no, 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 yep. no. It's similar to the Thomas the Tank Engines where you see the... Where the the mouths move the and mouths move and it's like oh no. But this, here's the thing: right. I did watch that show and I still think it doesn't look right. I think I could sit through it. I yeah, really do. But you can't sit through toothless talking. It wasn't toothless. It, yeah, it was. Yeah. It, it was completely new characters. But as soon as I saw a dragon talk, I'm like, unless that's the only dragon that can talk, no, nah, that ain't right. No. So uh, apparently, what is it? Dawn of New Riders. Yeah, that one, that one's non-canon. And yeah. everybody said, no, no. that, that. It, it is just a kid yeah. show. It, it is no, no, no. marketed for kids. I'm like, I figured. Yeah. I figured it out quick, too. So, um, then I found the actual show. The actual show, um, I thought it was about Toothless's young... And how they have grown up. Sure. Nah. It, not even close to that. Before I go any further, I actually think it's good. It is a very, very interesting show, and I do like it. Is it as good as Riders of Burke or Book of Dragons? No. No. Mm -hmm. But it is not a bad show. Well, sure. So, this show takes a 
place 1,300 years in the future. Uh, wait. We're no 1, longer on... 1,300 years in the future of Toothless, like, leaving? Like, of that? No. Yeah, pretty much all the original characters are dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all okay. dead. So we're, we're, yeah, after Toothless has left... Uh huh. And yeah, all the dragons have left, and they're in, in a secret world or whatever. The okay. yeah, the yeah. hidden world. Yeah. So um, now it's more modernized, and honestly, the reason I'm liking the show is it's kind of reminding me of Camp Cretaceous, but it's on Hulu and not Netflix. <laughs> okay. And the animation and the look of the show is similar. Mm -hmm. So. It, it it's. It's been good so far. Um, so, it's actually about uh, Toothless's descendant. Okay. And Is it a gray dragon? They call it a light knight fury. Okay, but, but is it like gray or like half black, half white? It's black and white. It's like a cow. Okay. <laughs> it's like a cow! I mean, how else do you d describe the colors? Well, yeah, but like... But is it like zebra striped? No, is it spotted it, like a cow? It has its limbs is kind of white spotted instead of black spotted like a cow. Oh, I. It, it, it looks <laughs> like one of Toothless's young grown up. But oh, I. That's why I thought it was Toothless's yeah, yeah. Um, young. Sure. But anyway, no, it's about five kids, which again, reminiscent of Camp Cretaceous. Um, and they have to keep a, a world secret, sure, somewhat similar to Camp Cretaceous. <laughs> um, Look, maybe they watched Camp Cretaceous and said that's a cool idea. Let's make a show like that. But um, anyways, so it's in. It has modern technology, phones, drones, all that good stuff. Um, <sighs> so. Basically, how it is is again, it's a the big bad is a corporate. Um, oh, there's the thing. Um, it's a big bad corporation. Uh, at, at least they think it's bad. It, it's not bad. It's just a standard corporation. If we find it, it's ours, kind of thing. Yeah. So yeah, so very standard corporation, and or the British. So, yeah, that, that's just the entire show. They go enjoy their dragons, and they have to keep it all secret from the corporation. Okay. And they're doing a pretty good job of it. I, it, it every episode is very interesting. Mm -hmm. Some of the characters do come off as a little bland, like the people. Sure. Like, I like all the characters, especially the main five, but again, all of them are kind of reminiscent of Cape, Camp Cretaceous. I can't stop comparing it to Camp Cretaceous because sure. it feels like it's stolen from Camp because Cretaceous. Because it's Camp Cretaceous. Uh, so, yeah, we have the weird girl. We have the guy that's like Hiccup. We, yeah, we have the big, strong, follow-orders guy, and we have a shy girl. Pretty much the... Pretty much all th all of those character traits were in Camp Cretaceous. Every single one of them. So, um... Yeah, with all that said... I've enjoyed it mainly because it reminds me of Camp Cretaceous. And it's very... It's an interesting take. Because I thought it was going to be more Vikings and and stuff. Black armor. I thought it was going to be more Vikings and stuff because that's what the posters show. And it's not. It's... There's a couple references to Vikings. Like the main character is descendant from Vikings. But, uh, yeah, it, it is just so weird to see these dragons in modern day. I, I think that's the only strangeness about the show. I liked the ancient aspect to it, but they're making it a little interesting. Having it a thousand or some years later 
and putting it in modernized world. It's uh, it's a little strange. Okay, sorry, I have to look up this fish because I am blanking on it. But anyway, I am enjoying the show, and honestly, it is a true successor to the last, um, the last movie. Black Island. I I figured it was this fish. Young. I have to look at the encyclopedia real quick, because I'm a bit confused. I'm gonna be right, right. Yeah, I'm gonna be right, right back, guys. I have to run to the bathroom real bad. Are all arowana young? And I've just not noticed. No? That's a black arowana right there. And that's a silver arowana. What? Oh! Okay. So here's the black arowana young. Wait, that grows up to be that or that? Well, it, it's black or one or young, so I should figure it grows into that. Oh, okay. I, uh... Hmm. I know this is in a micro spot, but I can't tell you which ones. Um, alright. So, Cortica River for the photo. Deep hole doing it right now. Get it out of the way. Oh, Nigel's back. Giant grouper. Wow. I I think we've gotten giant grouper before, but that's that's rare. That's not the Morsh Idol or the the Ray. Alright. Yeah, here's your Morsh Idol. Wait, what the fuck? Did a surface option even appear? Let me know in the comment section if you saw the surface option appear. I've never had that happen before. Hmm. Not saying anything about any of these fishies. But yeah, guys, I may not talk as much in this episode. Because, uh... I've been kind of exhausted all day. Like, really, really tired. Oh yeah, Japanese eager rays can get big. Alright, and here's your giant grouper. Didn't even eat. I 
doesn't do shit out of our touch. So there's no reason to stay. Alright, and found his new hobby. Yay! Yeah, our diving level went up not that long ago, so maybe our company level will go up this week. Maybe. But yeah, guys, I hope you're excited because, again, next weekend, our time increase is going to happen. And honestly, we'd be lucky if we got everything done. Like in this season because honestly I might be predicting a season 2 because of how much there is for this game wow that's a lot one of them can't even do alright do we have a dolphin show please I need to do as many as I can damn alright let me check my photos my photos. Um. I'll go ahead and delete that. I don't need that. I don't need this either. Okay, there's a few photos in here that I definitely do not need. This one I might keep. I do like it. Okay. So we have a photo request, which is a black Arawada young. I don't know how you actually pronounce the fish. I'm probably mispronouncing it. Okay, I have nine days on that. I think my salvages would disappear long before that one. So I think we'll do salvage requests. And I should probably spend some time training the dolphin too. I don't want to, but probably going to have to. I'm pretty sure that might be at the start of the map, but yeah, I have to check it when I get there. All right, let's go. Yeah, I'm thinking about going to the Red Sea. I really am. But only because this is a really, really long side quest that is taking forever. But, yeah, I might just go until we get the river dolphin. Because I, I remember that eventually this does get longer. Yeah, it's literally at the start of the way up. Ugh. Bam, bam, bam. 
Okay. Hi, I am back now that my stomach is no longer killing itself. How goes it? Now I'm doing a salvage request here. Did you figure out what the fish was? Hmm, yes. Um, so I didn't think there was a young version of that fish until I read the encyclopedia. Oh, well, well, hey, at least you found it. There it is. Well, yes, I found it in quotes in the encyclopedia, but I didn't go get a picture of it. Oh, gotcha. Oh. Yeah, I'm thinking about going to the Red Sea today, but um, I think I think what I'm going to do with this side quest because it's so long, like you said, it's a grind. I might just go up to the River Dolphin, get that one other side quest done, and then I might go to the Red Sea. I think that's how I'm going to do it. Sure. Okay, so talk to GG. You found it. Yay. But yeah, I'm pretty sure our company rating doesn't go down, so I'm, I don't think we have anything to worry about when it comes to that. I thought you could, but I'm, I don't think you can. All right. So, any new photo requests? Line surgeon fish. Well, I could have got a picture of that when I was back in Citrus Street. Walk the castle. Oh, I got a, a title. Castle. Finally, another dolphin show. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure I remember it upgrading to like 40 dolphin shows or something like that. a walk Let's get the dolphin show going. Here we go. Dang, the fact that it's up to 6.3 seconds.
That's my favorite trick. I know, because you requested it. Yeah, sorry guys, I ain't got much to say about this anymore. It's like, yep, we're doing another dolphin show. Yep, Stuff dude. with dolphins. It's the dolphin show. It's the dolphin show saga, that's what it is. Dolphin saga. I have no idea how many videos we're going to have of just us doing dolphin shows and dolphin training. A good question. Yeah, I'd say this. If we get through all the Finley stuff, then I don't really see any reason to completely train a dolphin. But I do see a reason to at least see 100 tricks with a dolphin. So I will try to at least get that title. Seems easy enough. But I don't... Yeah, I, I don't... I could have... You, you could swear you've seen or have done 100 tricks by now, right? Like, oh, I'm almost certain. How the hell do I not have that title? Because, again, I think... I think that the title is the same as what Finley's asking for. A hundred individual instances of training. Not yeah, so I have to do a hundred days of freaking training. Oh, she, she just said she's seen the tail whip a lot of times already. Oh, shit. That's my fault. I didn't mean to do it again. Younger bro over here is uh, accidentally training instead of doing the dolphin show. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about how, I'm, how we're going to handle this series. That's what I'm thinking about. Uh, because this series is long enough that it could go into a season two. I didn't get the hand clap because I fucked up. Let's go! Okay, I have to get a picture of a lion surgeon fish, and I have to go to Volca Castle anyway, so I'm probably going to get the salvage request first. <sighs> no, I can't. I have to either do the salvage request. Yeah, I think I better do the tour first, because it's easier to get photos that way. Yeah, I wonder if we've done 20 shows by now. I don't think so. I think we're up to at least 10. I haven't been keeping track. I I bet we'll... Of course you want Mahi Mahi. I bet we'll be closer to 20 next week. But the more dolphin shows we get, the better. Because I did... Seven ish last episode. Six, seven. Um, but I've only got one dolphin show this episode. Ugh. But at least we're boosting the company rating. But again, I have a worry about this because once I boost my company rating and I get max, will I get these quests again? This is a lingering question that I'm worried about. Yeah, luckily there's some line surgeon fish in the castle, so we can easily get a photo of one. Click on the fish, damn it.
My heart belongs to the sea. All right, our line surgeon fish should be right there. There they are. I knew there were some in Volca Castle. Beautiful. But yeah, guys, after after we get done with this game, there really isn't too many other, like, calm, relaxing games like this. This is, like, the pinnacle of, like, relaxing games. Like, we'll have Endless Ocean 1 and 2 and maybe the VR game, but I think the VR game is going to be a little bit less relaxing. Up this Titanus swimming out there again. Oh, Mahi Mahi actually went after my food. Interesting. I rarely ever have that happen. In fact, I never have that happen. I think that's the first time that happened. Please have another dolphin show. Oh, Finley asked for us. Yes. There we go. We 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 did it. We did twenty shows or tricks. Dolphin. Unclear. How did? I don't think we've done twenty shows. No, I don't know. Just just go with it. Whatever. Anyway, uh, Finley oh. asked for us. And now that I've said that, it should be just about time for him to mysteriously show up here. Oh look, somebody is mysteriously showing up here. Just, just go. This is the same dialogue the last time when we read this. It was. Yeah, it's identical dialogue of every time he shows up. <clears throat> it looks like, sorry, <clears throat> it looks like you've skill enough to be entrusted with this secret. A pure white whale called the Beluga lives in the Arctic Ocean, where you found the narwhal. A friend of mine spotted a beluga whale with a flower pattern on its skin in the Arctic Ocean the other day. It's not scared of people at all, and it comes right up to them and sings. If you're going to the Arctic again, why not... <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> why not look for it? It should be around the Southwest breathing holes. What an opportunity. First of all, what? At Narwhal, and now the famous sea canary, the beluga. You're sure about this? The southwest breathing holes in the Arctic Ocean? Don't forget to write it in your notebook so you don't forget. Don't forget to do this so you don't forget. Yeah, sadly, we couldn't catalog the the red tusk narwhal, but I think we can catalog the beluga. Yeah. Because you friend in the narwhal is kind of instant. 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before we go, before we go, I better submit the other photo because, you know, that's about to... Well, it's not about to expire, but, you know, I took the photo. And I should probably have... Wait, did I not have a photo in? Hmm. I guess not. Could have swore I submitted a photo. Um, I do have to talk to Nancy as well before I forget, but let me develop the photo first. But, yeah, um... I thought we were still far, far off from uh, getting the next Finley thing. But okay. Unless the game just straight lied to us. Yeah, I don't care. Um, yeah, we must not know what these conditions truly mean. Like, we've thought of everything it could be. Yeah, I, I don't know. Oh, we're at 500,000p. Awesome. Not bad. Ooh! Stafford Sapphire Pot. That looks amazing. The gold and the blue really pop out. I like that. Okay, um... Now let's submit the photo before we leave. There's no point in doing another dolphin show because Finley hasn't asked us to do more yet. So I'm not even going to bother looking at the requests and stuff. Okay, the Antarctic, right? Yeah, it's the same thing as the same place as the normal. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, okay. I wasn't too sure. I thought it was a partner on the Canada map, but I guess not. But yay, we're getting a new partner to the stream. That makes me happy. Because it means we're a step closer to getting our river dolphin. But yeah, this is probably one of the most grinding side quests I've ever experienced in any game. That's not a mobile series. Like, this is approaching mobile series levels of grindy. What did it say? Southwest? I, I always I, I rarely look at a compass. Which way is west again? That way. That way. Okay, I was sure. Well, kind of sure. North is always up. North, north, south, east, west. I'm yeah. trying to remember because I'm starting west. to forget. Yeah, a flower pattern. I do remember getting this partner, but I have n I have no idea what it looks like. I Is that big Bobby over there. 
Mm, no. I'm pretty sure he shows up again. Like, I don't think he disappears. Well, he does, but I don't think he stays gone. What what confuses me is it says it said holes. And that usually means the Canada map. I don't think it's here. This one might be a lie. I'll look it up. Because I don't recall belugas on this map. I, I remember it from Canada's map. But not this map. Yeah, this isn't the place we got the narwhal. No, this ain't. It's not oh, here. Hold on. Yeah, the Arctic Ocean, not Antarctica. Okay. Yeah, like as soon as I dived and I looked around, I'm like, no, this ain't the place. <sighs> See, younger bro does pick up on things when he reads things. Why, why is it stormy here, too? Like, when I loaded into the last map, it was also a snowstorm. Luckily, I'm pretty sure I don't have to go on the land for this. Okay. Yeah, this is starting to look better. Alright, here's some beluga wells. Yes, this looks a lot better. Again, this used to be my favorite creature on this planet. It's still definitely my favorite. Um. Marine mammal. I love the Blue Eagle Well so much. I used to have a Blue Eagle Well plushie. I don't anymore. I lost it a long time ago. This is John Air, can you hear me? So you found a pot of belugas, have you? Because of their singing, they're also known as the canaries of the sea. That is true. Even compared to dolphins, they're especially sensitive to sound, which plays an important role in their communication. 
That's strange. This one has unusual markings on its skin. Let's take a look. When you're close enough, try to focus on it. Yeah, it's very interesting to see a pattern on a beluga. Because I'm pretty sure that's unheard of. Judging from what we just heard, this one really likes to sing. It seems to be interested in you. Do you think it's trying to woo you with its song? Why not try responding with some sound? Almost like you have a whistle or something. I remember this quest being very easy. Maybe if you respond with some sound, you might be able to befriend it. Use the sea whistle in time when it when it's song. Hmm. Your timing is a little lo slow. Try to match the rhythm of its song. Oh, I didn't know I had the sea whistle on me. And also, that's not the sea whistle. That was a microphone. Same thing. That's more like it. The blue guy seems really happy. Try to keep keep it up. Look at it. It looks even more pleased. A little more and you'll have won it over. Hey, look, I'm doing Ocarina of Time right now. Maybe this is why I like Ocarina of Time so much. Remarkable, you've become the best of friends. Once again, your uncanny abilities seem to help you prevail. Yeah, I told you guys, this one is just free. <laughs> I, I remember being very, very freaking happy finally befriending a beluga. But yeah, it's whales and dolphins. But yeah, it is very interesting that it has a flower-like pattern on this beluga. You have befriended the beluga. Well, there's an obvious name, flower, but I think we're going to go with Something a little bit more complex. It's giving you a happy look. Yeah, formed a strong bond with this beluga. You should give it a name. Oh, I'll think of one for you. Hmm. If you... You should call it... Mandolin. What do you think? No, 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 no. I have a better name. A beluga with flowers on it. Nectar. I think that's how you spell it. A-R. It's A-R. I knew it. There you go. It has something to do with flowers. I'm not going to name that's a beluga flower. I'm surprised you didn't name it spring. What spring? Flowers. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we still need autumn and spring, and honestly, the river dolphin probably fits more autumn than spring. Yeah. Looks like it likes its new name. Oh, uh, Pierre, you have befriended the, this beluga. No shit, it, we already got a thing for that. It should now come whenever you ring the dolphin bell on Nine Ball Island. Pale Singer. Interesting title. Yeah, we did it. All right, Finley, what complex method are you going to give us now? Well, it's not complex, more like long, long method.
The long method of getting your next quest to appear. Okay, um, I think I talk with Hayako? Yes, it is Hayako. I don't think this is the same line. Well, I may not like Finley, but you have more animal partners thanks to him. Seriously, do you think that Finley is... What is it with him turning up right when I talk about him? Is he watching us? <laughs> uh, that's good. What do you want, Kami? So you befriended not just the normal, but the blue can too? Impressive. Maybe they do have what it takes. I had my reasons for wanting to test your... Affinity with whales and dolphins. I've been searching the globe in search of someone who truly understands animals. There were others who came close, but there was always something lacking. You're the real deal, though. And that's why I want to ask you... I want to ask for your help with something. Oceana. You want us to look for a false killer whale that should be in Volga Castle? Yeah, this one, it just goes straight into the next quest. And I yep. think, I don't think that's how it is from now on. I'm pretty sure there will be another roadblock. I'm fairly certain. A false killer whale with a skull on its forehead was spotted in Volga Castle. Let's just say it's special to me. I want to protect it. All right, I don't really like you. Oh, shit. Nobody likes you, but all your leads have been good so far. LL Diving Service will take the job. <laughs> Apparently, we're the only ones that like him. We don't like him. Thank you. The false killer well should be in Volca Castle. Splendid, she splendid. She literally just said uh, that, she like, that we don't like her. <laughs> I knew... From the beginning, the younger bro was the real thing. I mean, I'm right You're here. Lying sack of shit. See, I do. <laughs> or I at least respect him. Yes. You respect him. You don't necessarily like him. Similar to how uh, the Mythbusters don't actually like each other, but they respect each other. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Th that sort of thing. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's, one of the, that's one of the sad things that a lot of people um, don't realize. Uh, yeah, Adam, Adam has came out and said many times, uh, yeah, me and Jamie are not friends. We, like, he, he does, like, we do not have a friend relationship. We have a professional relationship. We respect each other, but we are not friends. God. And I've seen the shows so much. Like, yeah. I've seen them butt heads a little bit. Yes, and that, and that's kind of the thing, is that... Adam's personality is not the type of personality that Jamie would hang out with. But he is the type of personality where I need a project and I need outside thoughts that, like, don't, that I wouldn't think of. I'll call Adam. Yeah. It's Adam is strictly, like, very professional. Like, right? I think it's the opposite. Jamie's the guy with the beret with the beard. Oh, I thought I thought that was Adam. No, All right. yeah, Jamie is Sorry, extremely Jamie. professional. Like, that's just, I, that is his kind of that. He is just very serious all the time. Yeah, I haven't seen that show in a while, so I I mix them up occasionally. Yeah. I say serious. I don't mean that he doesn't make jokes. I mean just in his in his attitude of just like he's he's someone he's that very, you don't want to try to make jokes around. Not even that, because that's that's Adam's whole Adam's whole like bit. But Jamie is very much a more a more taciturn, stern uh, man. He's old fashioned, sort of, but not necessarily in in that way. 
Oh, but, but yes. By the way, what's interesting about this false killer whale um, mission is it's not the false killer whale you see all the time at Valka Castle. I'm pretty sure they just replace it with this false killer whale. I I can't be certain. Let let, let let's go to Valka Castle and find out. But I'm pretty sure the dolphin after the false killing whale is the river dolphin. So once we get this, hopefully it's gonna be. Another straight into the next quest kind of thing. I hope it is because we need that river dolphin. I definitely was not expecting to get yet another two partners. Okay. And I, I should have because, again, I play this a lot, but... I usually play through the main story, and I leave all the side quest stuff for last, and... Okay, not the side quest, the long side quest for last, like the coin mission and this. So I just... It, it's a lot of time-consuming stuff, and Two Bros Game Night is kind of helping me commit to doing all this side questing stuff. So we must play on... Yeah, I know about some mythical creatures in this game. I don't know how to trigger them all, and I've definitely not seen them all. I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> yeah, false killer whale with a scar. Yeah, yeah, they just replaced the false killer well. Hmm. It's not this one. False killer well with a skull. Has been seen in Volca Castle. Do I have to be here at a certain time of day? False killer whale, all right. Is it not in the ballroom? I swore it was in the ballroom. Might need to look up the false killer whale thing. Do I have to be here at a certain time? I might have to be here at night. I do recall there's something special I have to do in order to get this whale to spawn. On. But I can't remember for the life of me. We are in the correct place. We just might not be here at the correct time. But I will check everywhere just to be sure. Uh, you want false killer whale? Give me mm -hmm. a second. The mission, not the creature. I was fairly certain I could just come here, but I might. I remember there being something special about it. Okay, so you're playing hide-and-seek. 
So, in order to do this mission, hiding place one, the spiral tower. So it's he is at the top of the spiral tower. Right now? Yes. Go to the spiral tower. Go up. Okay. Yeah, I knew there was something special with this dolphin. Sorry, whale. Um, I just could not remember for the life of me what it was. Yeah, sorry guys, I didn't die with a dolphin. I died with Oceana. We've needed her a few times for these missions, so that's why I brought her. Alright, so he's up here. There he is. Okay, here John Ark. It seems that a false killer whale has found its way in here. Do you see that? It has what looks like a scar on its head. Several years ago, a citrus fisherman drove off a false killer whale that was causing havoc in their fishing grounds. This could be the same one, and so he's most likely afraid of people. Yep, just as I saw, he's afraid of you. Off he goes. He's heading for the collapsed gallery to the east. I think you might be able to defend this false killer whale despite his being afraid of humans. Go after it. See what you can do. Where can it be now? The collapsed gallery. Ah, uh, that's nice. It pointed us right to where it was. God's bumping its head and everything. Because it's something not normal in here. He seems really scared. He must have suffered terribly. You tried to show it, you meant no harm, but it fled north. Yeah, very helpful game, it went north. Yeah, despite having upgraded gear, I'm nearly at half the tank. <laughs> I knew it was going to be in here. It's in the armory. His movements seem awkward. You tried to show it, you meant no harm, but it fled even further north. It disagrees with you. Yeah, I'm trying my best not to ask Ultra Pro for help. If I if I seem to be struggling to find it, then I will. How dare you? No, I appreciate it. It said it went north. So I doubt it's in here, and I don't think it's in the study. I bet you it's over here. Even though it said it went north, I bet you it's in here. Let's treasure vault. There it is. Perhaps he has some kind of injury from colliding with something in the castle. You tried to show it, you meant no harm, but it fled east.
east, so that would mean it's in here. It's in this long hallway. The underwater gallery. I'm staying somewhat in the middle, that way I cannot possibly miss it. It might be in the room with the map. If I had a bet. Yeah, it's starting to look like it. Oh. Is it not? It fled east. Clear the east. To the east, and Juliet is the sun. Did I actually pass it? Is it in the ballroom east? Hmm. Yeah, it's not quite Pacific. Per Pacific. Specific. Uh, specific on its directions. Yeah. It is in here. Okay. Some strange stuff. For now, concentrate on treating him. This room is large, so he should be safe. Once you've calmed him with the pulser, examine him to see if he's injured. All done, he's now calm, and you should be able to examine him without him swimming off again. Yeah. You pulled out a huge splinter that was stuck in the whale. Everything should be okay now, I think he's thanking you. Aww. Cute. Yeah, he's one of the smaller uh, partners, too. You formed a bond with the false code of well. You should give it a name. You should give it a name. Hmm. I'll think of one for you. You should call it Princess. What do you think? Really? Hmm. I don't want to name him Scar. How about let's go with the name that Twitter thinks it's called. His scar looks like an X? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> looks like he likes his new name. <laughs> <laughs> you befriended <laughs> you, you befriended a false color well. Now he should 
Come whenever you ring the dolphin bell on do on Nine Ball Island. Yeah, uh, he said he, and he wanted to name it Princess. <laughs> Look, Lost Knight. If this boy really wants to be a princess, then you encourage that boy. <laughs> Just like Princess Cookie. The Grass King you didn't want to give you this. Oh. I'm about to flip out, man, and take that crown! Yeah, we don't see Princess Cookie too much after that. I think, I think he is mentioned one other time, or if we see him in an episode one other time, and that's about it. All right, how you go? This is new dialogue. I let Finley know we've got the false killer well here, so he should be on his way. He may talk tough, but when it comes to animals, he has a heart of gold. He's also a million times faster than anyone else. He's already here. <laughs> Seriously, he could be Flash or Quicksilver at this point. <coughs> Oh. Uh, so, okay. I'm looking up anime tags because one of these sites had sci-fi with and without a hyphen. And I guess I fucked it up somehow or they changed it while I was uh, copying all the tags. I'd say sci-fi usually has a hyphen. Yes, but this site doesn't. It just does not use the hyphen. Okay. So, anyways, not the point. Point is, I was making sure that they did not have both. So that I could resolve this problem. So I've typed in SCI for sci fi. There's also a tag on here for happy science. Now, are you familiar with happy science? I'm guessing anime that does crazy shit with science. Sort of. Specifically happy to the science main character. Happy science is a Japanese cult. Like, it is, a, it is a religion, in quotes, that is a cult where the leader, who has now died, um, believed that he was the incarnation of a god he made up called El Cantare, who was also the Buddha, and Jesus, and a lot of other people. Actually, no, I don't think Jesus was El Cantare. That was just, he was just a guy who was... Part of the whole insane bullshit he was coming up with. But they are very famous because not only are they insane cult, they also made insane cult-themed anime. Including one of them from Kyoto Animations. <laughs> it was one of their earliest shows when they're starting out. They're just like, sure, I guess we'll just make whatever this insane company wants us to make. So yeah, there's just there's just anime from Kyoto Animations that was made by a cult, basically. It was on they the cult paid for it. What the fuck? Yeah, it's weird as hell. I heard you've got the false killer whale here. Is that true? Tell me. Don't worry, it wasn't badly injured and it's already healed. What a relief. Actually I want to see with my own eyes. Can I please? Well, it's already friendly with us, so I suppose we can let Finley see it. Yeah, he doesn't. I don't think he ever sees the beluga. Nope. He doesn't care. The wound on his forehead. There's no mistake. It's the same false killer whale. A few years ago, false killer whales were exterminated in Sitio Strait. People thought their paws disrupted the fishing grounds. The poor creatures didn't stand the chance. The bastards. The fishermen trapped them all in a giant net, but two escaped into Volker Castle. That's where the other false killer well is. No. They tried desperately to escape, but only one landed two. Two. No, one. The other one's 
The other one's a false, false killer whale because it's a real killer whale. This is that one. This is the one with the with. This is the wound it sustained in the escape. I thought it would be frightened of humans after it's so dear, but it seems to trust you. It it must be you. You must be the one. You must fulfill my dream. Befriend the dolphins and whales of the world. Young and poor, I knew you I know you can do it. It's your destiny. Mm-hmm. Does he have ho ho on his bandana? That looks like ho ho. Or a, a typhoon from dragons. You will, you will do it for me. I've heard of a legendary trainer who has 11 different animal partners. If you befriend 11 different species, I'll give you my title. Oh, and this is your amazing reward. A stay at the art tank and fins. Yeah. Shark you do fin. it for him. Shark fins. Yeah. Oh yes, I remember these. These are good. I like them. You em. do it for him. I'll be and waiting to hear the good again. news. again. So, you do it for her. That is to say, you'll do it for him. I think we can now just do these missions outright. Yes. Thank God. <laughs> Tank and fins. Let's. Let's check it out. I'm definitely, definitely going to switch to the tank. The fins, I don't know. I've kind of grown accustomed to our uh, T-Rex finned fins. So, yeah, uh, check the notebook. Give me one minute. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the shark friend's blue. Oh, it's not. It's literally Joel's color. Nah. Well, it is an interesting fin. Ah, fine. And there's our shark fins fins. Nah, we gotta go with the duck T-Rex fins. All right, notebook time. <clears throat> he wants us to friend 11 species. I believe we do over that. Finley's past. Befriend all of them. Okay, species. so it doesn't actually tell you anything. Freshwater oh, no, dolphin, let's yep. go! So yeah, now you can do any of them. Just you just you just do it. Deep hole, dolphin and deep yep. hole. You can go do that one. Dolphin with a uniquely colored dorsal fin has been seen in deep hole. If you get the chance, try to find it. And we also have the river dolphin. I'm doing the river dolphin first. All right, let's not worry about dolphin shows or anything like that. Right now, let's go. Let's go get us some more dolphins. Well, it doesn't take a day to go to one time on a toll. No, I I want the river dolphin. It has to be the river dolphin. That way we can do that one other side quest. Yeah, I might commit for us. Like, I know we're nearly to time i'm probably going to have us get the river dolphin and then do the river quest that way we can yeah finally get that quest done and over with okay now if i remember correctly the river dolphin we're looking for is at the upstream portion and before you ask, guys, no, that is not the last freshwater fish we need to catalog. The last freshwater fish we need to catalog is behind that branch. And also, I don't know if it counts as a mythical creature. I, I hope it doesn't, because we are missing one creature. I'm pretty sure it's not a mythical creature, and it's just really, really rare. But yeah, now with a shark fin tank, it's... I think it's a bit easier to see my surroundings with the shark fin tank. That's why I usually use it. It's not as big and bulky as the, the other stuff.
Like, I, I think it saves a lot of room, honestly. Like, I like this tank. It's awesome. A shark fin tank. It's amazing. <clears throat> There's our golden catfish down there. <clears throat> All right, river dolphin time. Finally, it just took seven streams. That's not a joke. Like, it took seven to eight streams to finally get here. <clears throat> Can you hear me? This is John Eric. Those are Amazon River dolphins over there, aren't they? They're also known as pink dolphins. See, there's the other coloration, guys. River dolphins can be either gray or pink. <clears throat> hey, there's one that's pink all over. Now, that is extremely rare. No, it can't be. It's the legendary. Can you come back up here real quick? I just remembered something important. Immediately called back to the boat. Okay. <clears throat> About the Amazon River Dolphin you found in the Twilight Temple. There's a legend about a pink... Sorry, a, about a dolphin that's pink all over. According to the legend, this dolphin is very interesting... Very trusting of females. A similar legend helped us befriend a narwhal in the Arctic. I wonder, could a legend also provide a hint for befriending this river dolphin? Was that perhaps diving with a female animal partner is the key? Hmm. That sounds kind of ridiculous, but your intuition is usually spot on. I say the narwhal is your best bet, then. It's supposedly the incarnation of a woman. Head to the Twilight Temple with the narwhal when you're ready. Interesting. I, I completely forgot you needed the narwhal specifically for this quest. But luckily the narwhal is sort of mandatory, so it's very hard to miss it. Without, you know, getting the narwhal. Like, you, it shouldn't be possible to miss the narwhal. Now, I've befriended the... I have befriended the Amazon dolphin. But I think that's where I stopped. I don't think I've befriended any other dolphins after that. I don't think I've ever befriended every single dolphin. If I've said though, if I've said so, I don't. I'm, I'm ninety percent certain I haven't. But yeah, it's interesting that to come in here with a narwhal, which is kind of bad for the narwhal because not only is this not fresh water, but um. It's not cold water either. Like, this is the Amazon. It, it cannot be comfortable for the narwhal. And you know what? I might actually name this, do this dolphin spring because it's pink. Flowers are pink. Like, it's pink all over. I, I was debating on whether to call it autumn or not. And autumn doesn't exactly have pink colors. They usually have orange or reddish colors. Okay, hear me. This is John Eric. Look, the Amazon River Dolphin is here. Quickly, lead the narwhal close to the River Dolphin. Let's see if you're right. The best way would be to hold on to the narwhal and steer it close to the dolphin. Got it? You need to ride the narwhal close to the Amazon River Dolphin. Why do you... What? Why is it capitalizing Amazon River Dolphin? That's part of its name. 
but whatever. As the Amazon River Dolphin makes friends with the narwhal, then it oh, should also friend you. Uh, are you asking why it's not capitalizing River Dolphin? Well, I know why it's not capitalizing River Dolphin. Yeah. I'm saying why did they capitalize Amazon? Because River the Dolphin. Amazon is a proper noun. You always capitalize Amazon. Hmm. Because it is the Amazon. Like, it is a... It is a it, it's, yes, it's a place, but... Yeah. And it's you, part of the dolphin's that, name. No, but that's what I'm saying. They're not. They're not naming it. They're not saying the dolphin's name is Amazon. I know, River game. Dolphin. I'm trying to find the normal. Yeah. Anyway, continue. But yeah, they're not. They're not naming this dolphin Amazon River Dolphin. They're saying it is a generic river dolphin from I, Amazon. <clears throat> this game. Yeah, it's stupid. Where is the narwhal? I know, game! It must have gotten stuck. Fucking God. Yeah, I think it got stuck. I've never had this happen before. Uh, outside, and so it's going to keep triggering until you get close enough to the thing. I've never had it disappear like this before. Yeah. I know! that her? No. Yeah, I think what's happened is she's stuck over there. If I had to bet. There she is. Yeah, she's stuck on the damn wall. Oh, I never triggered her. Yeah. Can you photograph? You can't photograph her, can you? I mean, yeah. I could. Oh, I didn't trigger the false killer whale or anything either. I need yeah. to do that one of these days. Yeah, you can just swim with them. But yeah, so... Yeah, you're just going to have to ride her in because it ain't going to. Uh. Shut up, John Eric. Yeah, this, this is, is your stupid. fault. stupid. But yeah. We are trying. But the dolphin got stuck. Okay, you're near the Amazon River Dolphin. Make sure you stay close. We are trying. How close do we need to be? Hey, it seems to like the narwhal. Keep it up. Uh, where is it? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm... Oh, it's down below. Okay. Whoa, now... That's the sound of a happy dolphin. Make sure to stay close. Looks like they're becoming friends. Not much longer now. Keep it up. Keep close. Yeah, I'm assuming that if you get far away, it starts over. That would suck. Yeah, the other, like, the pink dolphin's moving very slowish. It seems like the Amazon River dolphin has taken a shine to you. I didn't press anything, guys. Yeah, just auto press. Yep. Finally! Yeah, so now, hopefully, it'll take you back to the ship. And then you can, like, it won't take you back to Nine Mole, hopefully. It shouldn't. I, I should be able to ride with it. As soon as I get out, like, as soon as I befriend yeah. it. So, obviously, we're at time, so you should be, I mean, it shouldn't be that much longer, honestly. Because all you have to do is dive with her, and then... And, and then I can remove it. all that shit. Yeah. Yeah. You have befriended the Amazon River Dolphin. Yeah, it doesn't really look that pink. It looks more white in the game. Yeah, I can name this one Spring. It's thanking you for introducing the narwhal. It seems to have communicated its affection to the... Sorry. Yeah, it seems to have communicated its affection to the Amazon River Dolphin. What the fuck does that mean? Give it a name. 
<laughs> wow, it's just ordering us to give it a name now. There we go. We got spring. Now we just need to figure out what dolphin should be called. Old Autumn. Looks like it likes its new name. Yeah, be yeah, befriend of the Amazon River Dolphin. It should come to you if you ring the Dolphin Bell and Eyeball Island now. Best friend. Really? That's the best friend title when you get Amazon River Dolphin? Okay. Alright, and now when I return to the boat, it should be a dive partner and we can finally do this quest after wanting to do it for several streams now. And I can finally complete the map as well. It's raining. Perfect. Alright. Winter. Summer. There's our river dolphin. Let's go, spring. That should be easier to go through the piranhas than it is the electric eels. Oh, I like how the rain's on the loading screens, too. That's awesome. But yes, we have the river dolphin. Let's go, finally. I was not expecting to get the river dolphin this stream, nor was I expecting to also complete the side quest that's been looming. Oh my gosh, dolphin. Where the fuck are you? There you are. All right, spring. Let's ride. Okay, now it looks a bit more pink. In, in the in the the ruins, it didn't look that pink. But now that I get a better look at it, yeah, it's it's pretty pink. Okay, I'm gonna try not to swim straight into the piranhas. <clears throat> but yeah, if you just swim around the piranhas and not straight through them. They will never really attack you. Like, I almost got attacked, but again, it rarely happens, trust me. Now, the Caymans, the Caymans is what really attacks you. <clears throat> but they can't keep up with me because I'm on a dolphin. Okay, let's finally get this shit cleared. Okay, Hermit, this is John Ark. Perhaps if you try to move it with spring, you might just be able to. Give it a try. <clears throat> you have moved the fallen tree blocking the way. You should thank spring. You don't know what might be inside. Be careful. Here we go, guys. The last freshwater fish to catalog. Yep, this is a special place. Queen's Lake. You found an interesting place here. It looks like a lake hidden by floating water lettuce. Oh. Freshwater manatees. And over there you have Amazonian manatees. Manatees are quite unique creatures. Along with the closely related dugong, they are the only modern plant-eating... Can't read the rest, because this is mammal. why I don't... Mammal. Marine no mammal. other marine mammals... Herbivore. No other marine mammals are herbivores. Uh, yeah, they I, were hunted. We know that yeah. about manatees. Numbers have fallen greatly, and some of their relatives, like the stellar sea cow, are extinct. Stellars, sorry. Nowadays, manatees are protected, and their numbers are starting to recover. There are no other... 
marine mammals that are herbivores? That seems surprising. I guess there aren't that many marine mammals. No, it's usually manatees and dugongs. Yeah. Like, the only ones you could even count would be, uh, like, seals and otters, but they're omnivores. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I guess that's true. Most of them would be carnivores or omnivores and not specifically herbivores. To be fair, I think a lot, I think most creatures are omnivores, generally, that, because, yeah, most things will eat almost anything to survive. Yes. So it's, like, say a deer, for example, if it got half-starved, yes, it can eat meat. Yeah. So it's like, I, I feel like... Okay, more than half-starved, actually. But yeah, but, yeah, so I feel like omnivore is a... Is, go is going to be an overused category in a sense, because it's like, yeah, pretty much everything is an omnivore. If you try hard enough. But yeah, I'm just happy we are even completing the map. Um. Yeah, it won't let me get that l this little patch left of map. I think I will give it to me, luckily. But yeah, there's probably some uh, micro spots in here. Um, now, there's no more new fish. Like, we're, that's it. We're, we're done with the Amazon. But there's probably, yep, micro spot that has a coin. Mm -hmm. There she is. The Pisces, or the Pisces coin. Pisces coin. I'm bad with words. Let's see if there's any more before we go. I think that's the only one. Yeah, there's one there. Yeah. Oh, there's two. No coin. So, yeah, I bet you that's the last coin. Very possible. I mean, the book tells us. Well, the last coin for the fresh water. Whatever. Yeah, no, the book doesn't tell you if you've collected all the coins in one place. No, no, no. Didn't we find that? We specifically noticed that. Uh, we specifically found that uh, when looking at the book or something. It was like, oh, it tells you. Or somebody tells you the number of like collectibles left in an area that are for the coins. Because I remember we specifically found that. I don't remember where, though. We got the map. I think that I, you might be remembering something you looked up on the internet. No. This was definitely something we noticed in-game. Mm. But I don't remember what it was for. I think that was for fish. Could be. I don't know. We shall see. But yeah, so we got a cartography mission done. We got the... The one mission done, and we got a dolphin mission done as well. By the way, I've added to my list of guided tour locations. Cortica River, midstream. That's it. Ask me again anytime. I thought our uh, our company level went up no. again. Why would you think that? All right, let's talk with her. Something about the maps, new maps. Oh yeah, the map you just did. Here's your cartography money. It's shit. <laughs> Cause Here's we, a bonus. Because we already collected all the other money. It's there we less go. shit. River Flamingo. Oh, that's Ooh. how you get that title. Uh, I like that title, River Flamingo. Okay, so... Yes, we got the river dolphin, and yes, we do have more side quests now. I believe after you get the river dolphin, you get... Oh my god, we get a lot more. We get a lot of things. Ooh, oh boy. Cortica River, Queen's Lake. Barely anything on it. Makes sense. 
Young entrepreneur. Well, we just got that. <laughs> progress. I like how number 10 is progress. Yes. <laughs> Special requests. Yes. Got it. Oh, dolphins done. And we're now on the next page. All right, yep. here's deep hole. We'll have to get another time. Cursed rumor. Yep. And let me guess where that is. Local rumors speak of a skeleton that can sometimes be seen peering out from the shadows of the mangroves along with the Cortico River at night. <gasps> That's That must be the mythical creature that you see there. But it says it's a treasure rumor. I don't know. We'll see. Not now, though. Mm. Yeah, interesting. Isn't the treasures the creatures we meet along the way? Okay, let me... Let me process this photo, because that's a rare animal. God, that's a pretty good photo. I like that one. Yeah. Discard that. And now hard save. Okay, guys. That is going to be it for today's episode. We made a lot of progress. Now we don't have <laughs> the fucking grind with training the dolphins. That's... Yeah. Uh, but I could swore there's going to be another grind for this quest. I'm not sure. I, I really can't remember. Yeah, we'll figure it out. But we'll we'll see. Anyways, that is going to be it for today's episode. So like and subscribe to YouTube and Twitch. Comment to your videos, but do read them. Follow on Twitch. The Dolphin Training Saga seems to maybe be almost over. And we'll see you guys in the next Endless Ocean 2. Goodbye. Good night, everyone.